All right, so I'm gonna do the same thing that I did in class. Um, it's hard to see, but there's a, a nice warm color. There's the Quinn Gold and the Thalo Blue. You can really see my pencil lines uh, the, from the graphite. We're going to need these, so don't erase them too much because they're going to disappear once we put the darks in. Just trust me on that. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing we did before. Oh, and just before I get this wet, what I did was I made tabs on here. So I put tape on, did a T uh, intersection, and with the sticky side, folded it over so I have something to hold as I, because we don't want to be touching the paper while it's soaking wet. Okay, so I've got my Quinn Gold ready, I've got my Thalo Blue ready, and I am just getting this paper wet. That's my job, just to get it wet. Good and wet. So I'm just going in, getting it good and wet, moving around. And pretty soon I can start adding some color. Oh, that wonderful wet smell is starting to appear. Reminds me of wet dogs. Or dirty um, socks. <laughs> but anyway, this has a really good sheen. So now what I'm going to do is dip my brush in water, pick, a, pick up some phthalo. And you notice I'm not, I'm lightly and liberally dropping the blue in. I'm not um, pouncing it on the paper. And now I'm going to do the same with Quinn Gold. That phthalo blue wants to uh, sink in, so that's why I go ahead and go right over the phthalo blue to push it, to continue to push that around. And this is so wet that everything's going to want to move. I want to make sure that I have some in the statue, too. And because this is so wet, everything is going to be... And now I'm just dropping in that phthalo blue brush and water. Okay, now I can lift the tabs. Let this move about. I'm probably going to be in the way. And I'm going to let that move. When it doesn't move, So it kind of hung in right here. So what I'm going to do is drop in. Dropping in water. To let that move. Turn it the other way. I didn't do this in class, but I'm going to do it now because I don't want these to be too blotchy. And that phthalo blue is really hanging in there. So lightly, with this big, I almost said big ass brush, and I do want more 
blue out here. Wipe off. Gonna add some Quinn Gold in here. some of that color because it all just disappeared on us. I'm going to let this move. As you can see, love these tabs. And now I'm going to let it just kind of hang in there. A lot of that gold moved into here, which is okay. I'm happy with it. But I want a lot of the color to move back at the same time. So with my thirsty brush, I'm going to be wicking, ay caramba, wicking up where it's really thirsty. I don't want so much on her face or her hand. in here I'm happy with everything else I'm just removing a little bit there's still color there but and it, there's a halo here but it's anchored so we want to be sure that there's some sky behind it okay before it sets in I'm just spritzing some water on here to give it a little more texture to push it away. It's not too dry, so I won't be getting too many blossoms. And I'm just going to let that be. Watch it. Always stay here and watch. And I'm wicking away excess. It's kind of light over here. And a little light in here. And all I'm doing is wiping away. Um, there's no true whites in this, so it's okay if we have some color mingling in here. You're just going to have to trust me on that. And this is fun. You're being di in direct. Okay, so I'm happy with that. So I have a blotchy sky. There's little touches of, it just gives it an antique -y look. So I have some blue splotches, but that's okay. I've got some of the um, Quinn Gold splotches and I have some light splotches. And I'm just going to sit here for a little bit. Because I don't want any undesirable things to develop once I walk away. So the sheen is, it's starting to sink in. I love this new graphite paper because 
everything is staying on, it's still holding. And I do want to get a little more color off of her face. That blue is a little harsh, but that's okay. Look at how the color keeps coming back in. I wiped up here. See how that became clean? I hope you could see. And even right here. And because it's so wet, it's sinking and moving right back in. This is all okay. It's right here where all the color is. I'm happier with this. I think um, it's going to be really cool. So I'm just going to leave it alone. And that's it. Let it be flat. That's what we did. Um, here, let me move this down. So you can see the whole thing. Oh, let me move it this way. So, okay, that's what you missed. And Barbara. So right now what I'm doing is I'm just wicking up some excess along the edges. Like right there, right by the tape tabs that we made. And um, I'm happy. Still wet. Wanted a little bit. It's streaking over here, so I wanted a. Break some of that streaking up. So I dropped some water in. Because it's still all awfully sheeny. So I could do that. Now again, because I just added more water, I have to go in. and wake up any more excess, and I think I'm good. It's a really neat background, I'm loving it. And we could see color now. So I'm gonna zoom in. So there's some color on there now. Okay, that's it. I'm gonna let it dry and then we'll start on Friday. Oh, I could hardly wait.